So hi there and welcome to this week's video. My name is Charles and today I'm going to be looking at doing a bit of macro photography. Now today I'd come out to Pilchfield in Buckinghamshire with the hope of uh, getting a nice bit of drizzle and rain in the atmosphere. Today was meant to be quite a rainy day but unfortunately that hasn't transpired. So instead I thought let's make this a video about how we can add our own atmosphere into our photographs. So I reckon let's get the camera out, let's get the tripod set up and just see what shots we can find. And I will run you through the process of adding atmosphere to your macro photography in just two ticks. All right, I'll see you in a moment. So here you can see I've got my first image set up and it's these lovely little wildflowers that are growing up amongst the grasses. I'm not quite sure what they're called so maybe someone in the comments below could let me know what they are. But anyway, back to the shot. So it looks quite nice that it is as you can see on the screen, I'll show it now. But I think we could add some more dra drama to this image. As you can tell, the light is very flat today and it's quite a grey day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in some extra light. Uh, I'm going to use a little light and I'm going to side light it and what this is going to do is just add that little bit of extra oomph to the image. So we'll add in some extra shadows and some extra contrast which is really going to add to the depth of this image. So anyway let's get on, let's take the shot and see how we get on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add the light onto the subject. So I've set my video light to quite an orange light, so there we go if you can see that. And I'm going to place it just to the side and behind the subject just to give it a slight element of backlight. Now as you can see on, this, on the video here, uh, we're getting quite a nice glow and that's sort of creating extra shadows and contrast in the image. For this shot, I'm going at f16 to try and get a bit of extra depth of field. Uh, I'm not doing any focus stacking today, I'm just embracing that shallow depth of field. And I've got it set to about 1 640th of a second because it is a breezy day and even though the subject is quite low to the ground it have got a little bit of movement here. And ISO 800, uh, the Nikon Z6 is really good at low noise so I've got no trouble with shooting at ISO 800 but anywhere around there is going to be absolutely fine on this camera. So. Let's go ahead, let's take the shot, and then I'll put it up on screen for you to see. So I hope you're enjoying this video so far. If you are enjoying it, please consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, that would be absolutely amazing and really helps me produce more of this kind of content. But anyway, that's enough. Let's get back to the video. There's lots of these little lovely clovers growing. So what I'm going to do now is photograph one of these. And I think what would look really nice is if this had some raindrops on it. Now obviously it's not been raining like I said, so which is a real shame. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use, this here it is, a little bottle that I've bought with me which is filled with water. Uh, I'm just going to spray a couple of little squirts of water on top of the clover and I think this will add a really nice little bit of extra atmosphere into the image. So anyway, let's add a little bit of water. There we go. So I added the water to the uh, little clover and what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take the shot. So the settings for this shot are f16 
and it's 160th of a second and ISO 800. And there we go, another shot in the bag. So I'm gonna put that up on screen for you to see now. Okay, so my next idea for adding atmosphere into an image when it's a bit of a dull day like today is to introduce a bit of fog or smoke. Now, what I'm gonna use is a little nano mister. These are designed to give you a nice little facial. There we go, oh, I feel refreshed already. But anyway, what I'm gonna be using it for today is just to add extra atmosphere into my photograph just to create a bit more of a mood into the image. So what I'm gonna photograph is these lovely delicate yellow flowers that are growing in a little bush here next to the path. And I focused in on just one of these tiny little heads. Uh, and I think it makes for really quite a nice minimal photograph. So let's have a quick look at the settings. So at the minute my settings are ISO 800, same as before. And I think I'm going to change my f-stop actually because I want to create more separation between the foreground and the background. So I'm going to go down to f8. And then that means I can bring my exposure all the way to 16 hundredth of a second. And this should mean I get a really nice crisp image. So let's focus in on the object. Turn manual focus back on so we don't lose our focus. That looks really nice to me. So the next thing we want to do is I'm going to set my camera up to photograph in burst mode and then what I'm going to do is just spray the mist around the subject and what I'll do is then just pick the best of the bunch and I'll put it up on the screen for you to see. I hope you enjoy it. And of course, there's no reason why you can't mix and match the different techniques to get the look and feel of the image that you want to achieve. So for example, here's an image using water droplets and the light. Uh, I hope you like it. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy it, please consider giving it a big thumbs up, stick a comment below and let me know your thoughts. And if you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing to the channel. That would be absolutely amazing. But anyway, that's enough from me now. I'm off home to cook a roast dinner. So I'll see you next time. Take care and goodbye.